Okay, so I have all the stuff I need to make these solar cells now. The industrial centrifuge finished and I made a bunch of stuff, one of which was a silicon cell, um, which is the main thing that I was lacking. So I'm going to go ahead and put together these guys. And what went in the middle? I actually forget. <laughs> solar cell. Uh, it was this guy, the carbon. Right. These guys. I don't know if the electronic circuit was the most efficient item to use here, but it's one of the only ones I could actually make with what I had, so that's what I went for. Solar panels, nice. Okay. And I actually upgraded all my chests, or not all of them, but these two, using these, uh, it's pretty neat, these chest upgrades right here. You basically just create one of these and then right, like, hold it and right click the chest and it upgrades it. And now they're, they're huge, so <laughs> it's much better. And they have this nice sorting feature too. Uh, it's on all the chests, but only really started using it with this. It works really well because I can just throw everything in here now and there's tons of room. Um, these should actually not be in there. Um, yeah, but now I'm going to go put these up on the roof. And what I think I'm going to do is I removed the generator here because it wasn't really being used. I really only need one because I don't have a, a lava source anymore. Um, it's all run out. So what I'm going to do is have the solar cells up there and just run them straight down to this bat box um, using copper cable. And between the solar cells themselves, I can use this ultra low current because uh, apparently these only create one EU per tick so it can go through that cable which is nice because you just use tin and you don't need any rubber because it's uninsulated uninsulated <clears throat> so we go up here find where that hole came out kill the spider first oh there we go I'm gonna clear a bit of a. They just need unobstructed sunlight. So, yep, there's nothing above, above that. So, what I'll eventually do is probably have a larger array of them up here. Um, uh, but for now, I just have four, so I'm gonna do one on each side of this hole. And I can run to interconnect them. When I have more, I can interconnect them with this copper or tin cable. But for now, <laughs> this is actually going to be interesting to wire up. Oh, I'm silly. I actually meant to place a bat box in between them all. Oh, there goes that. I'm I believe I can pop these out with a wrench. So actually, a smarter move might be to plan this out a little better. And I think what I need to do, I like this area for them, but I'm gonna have my bat box sitting, I'll sit it right, actually ideally it's above that hole. So I'll just put it there, and the output itself is going to be a bit, uh, you know what, it's going to be hard to place it with the output down, so I'll just put it beside. I'll put it right here. And then I can run my copper cable down the hole, like that. I'll go from the other end. <clears throat> anyway. Now I can just put the solar cells along in one line, one long line, which should be good. So I will do it like this. Put one there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. I guess I'll put them here, like that. Throw some cable down to connect them up. 
I don't know what happens if you touch an uninsulated cable. Nothing, apparently. Okay, so they're creating power. And it's charging the bat box, and that's actually pretty fast. I guess a lot of... I guess one EU per tick is... is like 50, 20 ticks a second, or 50 ticks a second, or something. It's actually quite a bit. And so I'm just going to wire up that to my other bat boxes. And that's going to be awesome, because now I have fully renewable power. I don't have to put lava in or anything, which is awesome, because that would be just a real pain. All right, so what's I doing? Yeah, let me hook that up. Hopefully I can reach it. There's my cable from before. Uh, I don't think that actually connected up. Nope. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be silly and do this. I know there's some loss with uh, these cables over like distances, but I think, I mean, this is the shortest I could do to get down to my base. And in the future, if I really want, I can, there's this like diamond cable you can make, like glass fiber cable. And I have the perfect amount of cable. That's awesome. So now I'm going to have sweet, sweet solar power come down here. And this is, I guess, if I need backup of some sort I can always throw lava in there but I'm planning on upgrading all those cells to the next uh, next level of solar cell which I keep accidentally sorting my inventory by pressing R it's kind of annoying uh, advanced solar cells which are gonna take some more some more uh, some more intense clock <laughs> crafting I need uranium <laughs> Which uh, I actually have. I actually found some uranium. Um, you know what? I can. I might start reinforced glass. Huh. So I need a bunch of this glass. So I'm gonna have to go mining for more uranium because I definitely don't have enough to make it that much. I'm gonna need a lot more. Yeah, and especially on these alloys. Yeah, I need to go mining because I am low on resources. But I'm really happy with the way those solar cells worked out, because that's going to be really awesome. Um, but anyway, I will probably... The next thing I'm going to do is... There's another type of furnace we can upgrade to, which is the... Uh, the electric... No, no. The induction furnace, which is similar to like the rotary macerator, where it takes a lot more current, but it's like a lot faster, which will be nice to have. Um, for now, it, this is bugged if you... Turn it back on, it goes back to zero. <clears throat> but this was nice, but I all my ores are, have been turned into dust for the most part, so that thing's going to be off. But at least now that I have solar power, it won't be so bad to leave it on uh, because the solar cells are going to charge that bat box. And I want to get, there's a, for this right here, probably replace that, or I'll put, not so I don't waste the energy, I'll put another something in line here. Um, there's this thing called the MFE, which is like a giant bat box. Uh, it holds like, I think, 400,000 or 600,000. Or it's, it's way more than the bat box, which is just 40. It, just, it holds like multiple of that. Um, that's my next thing I guess I should build. to Because the solar energy turns off at night. So um, I need to create some of these gold cables, which I, I can do that. And... Diamonds and redstone. Actually, I, I can just throw this together right now, and then after that, I'll it'll be the end of this one. Um, if I have enough to make a machine block, that's the question. No, I totally do. A machine block. Yeah, the sorting. You just you just put it in here, and then you just hit that, and it sorts it. It's nice. So I needed four energy crystals. Four diamonds, that's uh, an expensive one. Huh. Wow. Okay, four of those guys. Put that back. And then some two times insulated gold cable, which is, looks like I'll need just to create one of those, which is a bunch of rubber and one gold. 
Another thing is you can control click stuff and just get one of them. It's pretty handy. Um, instead of picking up the stack itself and dropping them all. Okay, so that's my cable. So that just goes in here, and then these guys, and then a machine block. Oops. Ah, achievement. Awesome. Anyway, I can throw that guy. I'll do that since I don't want to lose this energy. Because if I destroy this, it'll, all that energy will just go away. Um, and there's no real reason to destroy that anyway. Just I'm having a buffer there. I'll throw my MFE right here. Awesome. Oh, 600,000. Oh, but this is wrong. Oh, yeah. So I need to make a transformer. That, uh, that is actually a bad move because if that, that actually outputs, this is 32, it'll blow out this cable. So I need to create, I forgot about that. Yeah, I, you need to create a transformer um, before you can transformer. Yeah, I need to create one of these. Okay, so that's just wood, copper, wood, copper cable, and copper itself. I think I have enough. Yep, I do. I'll create that. Copper cable. What? There we go. So, copper cable, wood, and three copper ingots. Got my cable, got my wood. Oh no, I need to get the wood. Wood is in here. One, two. I'm doing this wrong. Oh no, a little voltage transformer. Okay, that's cool. And I wonder if I can output directly from the MFE. Like if I put this guy. I did not mean to do that. I think that is the wrong way around. Yeah, I need to have this guy. Can I put it right here and have it charge? Oh yeah, that's awesome. Okay, and then I can put my... This guy has to be like this. Yeah, the three side has to go from the MFE. Okay, that's awesome. So that's charging. And now I can put copper cable here. Because this is low voltage now. I'm glad I <laughs> saw that before I blew everything up. And it looks like stuff is charging, so let's... Yep, I can power this stuff. That macerator makes a crazy like grinding noise whenever you turn it off. It's kind of unsettling. <laughs> this is charging up pretty fast. I think, yeah, I think it's going to use up all my lava. And then, since it's, is it nighttime right now? Yeah. Use up all my lava from that thing, unfortunately, first. Then it's going to take solar power, but that's fine. I can put more lava in that uh, later. I, ideally, I won't need, I really won't need that much energy because during the day, this should charge up and fill in whatever I used at night and the solar panels are constantly creating a charge so once they've charged up their bat box on top which I might actually quickly sleep and then go uh, go check that out might as well make it daytime since this is single player I had a problem where spiders were spawning up here, and they seem to have stopped now that I've lit it up, but... Okay, so it's still doing its thing. Yep, and that's expected. It's gonna, this is gonna be empty until everything after it is full. It's sort of like the last buffer, but I'm just sort of using it as a transition from the, these, this cable, the tin cable, to the copper cable. Um, 
How's this doing? Oh yeah, it's already twice as full as the bat box would have been. Outputting 128, and then this should be outputting 32. And this guy's almost empty. And yeah, it's not full. Yeah, this is this one's draining into this one, which is draining into this one. And the one up top is draining into this one, which is draining into that one. So the lava actually lasts surprisingly long, which is awesome. It's a good source, but I don't see why you'd use it over solar power because it seems like that is just the way to go. Um, but that is... My power is now good, so I can start focusing on... Well, I'd like to create more solar cells and upgrade them, of course. But for now, I think I'm okay. <clears throat> With this amount of machines, it seems fine. And it'll be interesting to see if I can just leave the macerator on. If it takes so long to start up, it's pretty annoying if you have to start it up like right away. I'd be interested to see if I can just leave it on and then... I know it would use power, but the solar, the solar pal panel should... Like that's 4 EU per tick. I don't know what the EU per tick is on the macerator when it's fully started, but if my solar panel's out, eventually I have enough where that total is over whatever the macerator uses, then that'd be okay. And I wouldn't have to worry because it would just always be on and I could always use it. Oh, there it went off again. But I think this is good. I'm happy with this. So I don't know what my next goals are going to be, but probably more furnaces, better furnaces, and start looking at creating myself some armor. I really want to create a jetpack because I've seen people use those and they look awesome. I know there's one that jetpack that takes like gasoline or fuel which I don't really want to get into because I have electricity now and the electric jetpack oh, can I actually create this right now two refined iron glowstone and a bat box um, but that's my I'm gonna create that create that next that'll be my goal for next time but I think this is it for now all right